We typically use two types of calipers for making measurement. The dial type caliper and the digital caliper. The caliper is a three-way measurement tool. It can measure outside diameter here. We can measure inside diameter here. And on the bottom is a depth gauge. Before using the caliper, we have to calibrate it. You want to make sure to wipe the inner edge of the outside measurement part of the tool, making sure there's no dirt there. Then use the thumb wheel to close the caliper and check the dial scale to make sure it's at zero. If calibration is needed, turn the lock screw to loosen the outer scale. Then the outer scale can be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise to line the needle up with the zero point on the dial. When you're done, tighten the lock screw and double check your adjustment. The digital veneer calipers do the exact same job, only they give you the numbers in a display. A lot of them have an on off. And again, to calibrate, you make sure the surfaces are clean on both sides. You bring the veneers down till they stop. And you guessed it, you push the zero button. This is capable of reading down to one half a thousandth of an inch. As you open them up, you get a digital display. That's 24 thousandths of an inch. Don't be fooled by the extra zero, that's four places to the right. That is 25 thousandths and 5 ten thousandths, or 25 and a half thousandths of an inch. One of the nice features of the digital is being able to convert from inch to millimeters. Pushing this button here will now give you the value in millimeters. That's 64 hundredths of a millimeter. Make sure you check to see if it's got the two M's for millimeters or the IN for inch.